What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Z. I just been out here trying to test some stuff. I've been watching a few videos on how to uh, manipulate concrete with foam and keep the same structural integrity and tensile strength. And I just wanted to show you all the results of my first test. Came out like this. It's really light. It's light as hell, still strong, won't break. The bubbles in it popped. Uh, I put it in an aluminum container so it didn't come out exactly how I wanted it to come out. So I tried it again, same day, and it came out like this. Light as hell, hard as a rock. The cool thing about it is, this one I've already cut one time just to see. But you can cut this concrete directly through and shape it however you want to with the saw, with the regular hand saw. Just like that. Why are we not using this to build homes? You can hear it. It's solid. No rebar, no mesh, no nothing on the inside. It's aerated. And this is nothing but Portland cement and foam. Now, there's a lot of guys out there that's doing it. Um, I've seen the Aircrete Harry's, the Honeydew Carpenters, um, Little Pig, and a bunch of other guys are out here doing it. I thought I'd take my test, try it out, see what happens. As far as I'm concerned, it came out pretty good. The first one again came out with big bubbles, and I know why, because I didn't use as much Portland cement as I should, should have, but I'm following the recipes and it seems like it's gonna be okay. So in the future here, I'm gonna run a few more tests and I have a 55 gallon drum sitting over here to my left that I'm gonna be using as well. I'm gonna follow Aircrete Harry's um, method of pressurizing it with air and pushing it through the holes. I think that will work with the, uh, with the steel drum, it just has to be set up right. So working on getting this, you know, some welds on there, things of that nature. But once that's done, I think this shit is going to work. So y'all stay tuned. Big Z, we try to do some things. This is my first video, and um, we're going to be making a whole lot more videos of dealing with the structural integrity of Aircrete and a bunch of other things. So y'all stay tuned.